Hi good people, this is your boy Mwas Manuel. I am so excited to share with you some of my favorite ways to get to the four chord. And today I'm going to share with you three ways that I do almost all the time when I'm playing. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy this lesson and I'm sure you're going to learn something. The third way, the third method is my favorite. Stick around and I'll show you that one. So I'm going to start with the application first and then I'm going to break down the concept later. So stick around. Yay, let's get to it. Mm. Ah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Something like that <laughs> okay so let's get straight to business straight to business all right haha -ha, so I'm on the key of D <clears throat> sorry I'm on the key of D so key, uh, the D is going to be the key where I'm going to be doing my happy endings <laughs> so um, the scale of D I'm, I'm sure you know it the scale is a very the scale is very important because I'm going to be borrowing some chords from a different scale, a different key. But I'm going to show you that once we get there. So what am I doing? Method number one. Method number one is this. Oh, one more time. What is that? What is that that's happening? I'm on D. There are so many ways to get to the four chord. I mean, we've had a we have we've had a ton of ways to get to the four chord. We could let, let's explore some examples. So this is D. We could use the three. That's the third. That's uh, I'm using the three. Sorry, I'm using the three to get to the four. It's nothing complicated. I could I could walk up to the four. We could use the five to the four. We could use the minor five to the four, and so on and so forth. So today, this is the key, or this is the... <clears throat> so for this class, this is going to be my passing to the four. Okay? I'm going to be using the sharp four. Or if you like, I'm going to use the... I'm going to be using the flat five. It's either sharp four or flat five, depending on how or where you are coming from. Okay. Now, timing for this particular method is... Oh, okay. Actually, for all the methods that I'm going to use, timing is everything. If you miss the count, 
you're not going to get it right. I also don't get it right sometimes. You know, sometimes you are caught up in the moment and you kind of miss the time, but it happens. We are not perfect. So, so what am I doing? Let me break it down one hand at a time. So for the five, for, for, sorry, for the one from, for, for the right hand, this is what I'm doing. So, what are my notes? It's just a B regular chord. I mean, F sharp, A and B. Nothing complicated. It's just the second inversion no? of D. That's how. And then the next one, the next chord that I'm playing is this. Okay? So, what chord is that? I'm doing F sharp, C, E. F sharp, C and E. You have to pay attention to the timing, okay? I'm going to explain I'm going to explain the timing just in a minute. And then actually the left hand is going to direct me on the timing, okay? So what am I doing in the left hand? I'm actually playing the 4/4. Four four. You know, I'm playing the time signature. I'm just bouncing on the time signature. That's what I'm doing. I'm bouncing on that time signature. One, two. So issue of timing. So for you to get it nicely, this is where it applies. It applies on the third measure. Okay. One, two. We start off from the third, from the third measure. One, two. You see, one, two, on four, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, we start on the three. One, two, three. Okay? So that we get to that point. Higher. Next thing. What are the notes that we are playing? D. So D is going to be like the starting point for that movement. And uh, just so that you may... Uh, for those who are asking... This is just like a chromatic movement to get to the four. It just depends on where you start. You could start literally anywhere. Like sometimes I like to explore. Instead of doing D, let me show you something. I always do this just like a bonus material. <laughs> so it's just the chords that change. Nothing, it's not the timing or the measure. It's just the chords. So. One more time. So, uh, if you care, okay. For those who want to know what that is, let me just break it down. That's E flat. On the third measure, I'm, st I'm starting on E flat. And this is the chord. G. And, okay, G, C sharp, E. And then I'm moving it. I'm just moving the two notes. That tritone. I'm moving those two notes and then landing, uh, resolving it at four. Okay? Uh, it's just the same thing. It's just different chords uh, just to give us a different sound. Nothing, uh, nothing really complicated. Yeah, that's just it. Let's go back to what we were learning. So, whew, I kind of missed the timing. You see, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes you might get overwhelmed and you kind of miss it. <laughs> it happens. But just practice it. Uh, just keep practicing it and you'll, you won't have a problem with it. Okay. So, what, what am I doing? That's what I'm doing. That's everything that I'm doing. See, uh, I'm starting from D. Oops, sorry. So this is what is happening after uh, after the D. After now, I'm starting from D. I'm playing F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then back to D. I mean back to G. Okay. So. Oops. 
So when you put everything together, this is how it sounds like. One more time. <laughs> One more time for good measure. That's the first method. Let's go to the second method. This is the second method. It's just the same chords. The same, we are go, we're going to do the same chords on the right hand, but on the left hand, that is where the changes are going to be happening. So if you noticed, we were moving up the chromatic scale, starting from the F. So we were going up the chromatic and then resolving it to the four. On this one, on the second method, we are we are we are going down the chromatic scale. This time round, starting from the six, and then resolve it to G. The first method was. Now the second method, we are starting from 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 the sixth degree of B scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we, from the six, we are going down. But chromatically so something like that so let's let's now le let me play it in context it's the speed okay it's the speed that you want for those who are asking what I, I kind of threw that somewhere in, when I was playing something bluish yeah you know it's uh, when you're playing blues you kind of play on that scale you're, you're kind of playing those chords so those chords are like that's just a d regular minor uh, a, d, a d minor uh, d a regular d minor lord english okay that's everything that i'm doing d minor c and then a g dominant that gets me back to the one okay so let's do the second method again one more time Oof. Okay, sorry. I I I kind of felt like explain. I, I kind of felt like explaining what I just did there. So it's just the same chord that I played an inversion of it. That's why it it sounded like that. Uh, I'm just doing that because there are people who might ask what happened. Uh, it's not it's not the same thing that I played uh, as the previous me like as of, on the previous method. It's just nothing complicated. It's just that. It's just that I've, 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 invite, I've, I've inverted that chord, okay? Nothing complicated. And then there's a place where I play the six. I, I, I can't remember where. Oh, okay. There's something I was playing before. This is what I was playing. Just a nice way of resolving it. It's just, you know, there are so many ways you can resolve anything that you're playing. So that's just F, E flat, and back to the one. Nothing complicated. I don't think I should explain that, but let me just show you. That's F, C, A, E flat, B flat, G. 
instead of going to the five. So I'm sure you've heard that a ton of times, okay? Now the other method, the other method is my favorite, okay? Because the reason why it's my favorite, it's not because it's com it's a bit complicated, which is not anyway. It's just that it sounds very, it sounds very adventurous. That's why it's uh, that's why it's my favorite. So for, let me play it first, and then let me show you. So. Very, very adventurous. Let me play it with the bass line like I was doing before, and then let me and then I will break it down. And there's something I actually did on the let me let me, let me just play it. I played it. Yeah, that's what I did with a beat. So it's just uh, it's a very very easy way. The the the, uh, the playing it is very easy. Playing it is actually very easy. Once you understand what you're playing and why you're playing it, it will make sense to you. So one thing to notice is that I'm playing out of the scale. I'm playing out of the scale of B. I'm borrowing some chords from a different scale and that will be I'm borrowing chords from D sharp. Okay? I'm borrowing chords from E flat. The first chord that I'm borrowing is this. This is more like a suspended chord. chord. I mean, just listen to where it goes sometimes. Yeah? That's 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 a very familiar sound. You know, it's a very familiar movement. It's, it's just something familiar. So I'm borrowing some chords from that. And the chord, okay, the chord that I'm borrowing is the two chord i'm just going to show you the chord i'm not going to explain what it is because uh, it will make the video too long so let me just uh, let me just break it down for you so it's just a regular f on the, uh, on the on the left hand and then this is what i'm playing on the right hand i'm just playing the e flat chord nothing crazy b flat e flat g and then i'm moving it to the b flat now this is more of a B flat dominant chord, but uh, just, just, yeah, just it's more of a B flat dominant chord. It's more of a B flat chord. So how I'm playing that B flat chord is this: B flat, F, and and uh, the A flat on my left hand. Okay, how I was playing it before was this. You could do it just the best way that it works for you, okay? Just do it the way it works for you. So, B flat, A flat, I mean B flat, F, A flat, and then on my right hand, I'm doing this, this particular chord here. But I'm gracing that. I'm doing... D, F sharp, but I'm gracing it from C to D, okay? So that's how it sounds, nothing complicated. From, from F, and then to E flat, nothing complicated, but it's a very beautiful sound, coming to think about it. So I'm doing G on my right hand, C and F. And then I'm doing E flat, B flat, E flat. Nothing complicated. So, and then I'm doing 
from there i'm going to the four chord so that's a 251 first of all that's a 251 on the e flat uh, on on e flat on the e flat scale that's a 251 so this is what i'm doing so that's 251 on the e flat uh, from e flat and then i'm going to the four Once I get to the four is when now I'm resolving it down chromatically. Okay? I'm doing that chord again. You know that chord that we used? But in this case now, this chord is my four on E flat. Okay? Then I'm resolving it chromatically. Okay? And then back to my one. So now let me play it in context. Playing it in context would sound something like this. That's just basically the whole thing. So method number one. Method number two. Okay. Now method number two. Method number three. Method number three for good measure. that simple i hope you've learned something so if you're enjoying it whatever it is that i'm doing leave me a like and uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with someone who might it, it might be of help too okay so thank you guys for watching see you again on the next one see you when you see me